What is up everyone, my name is 3 Hero, and welcome to today's short video covering the new Argon Ordnance mod and seeing what exactly the mod does, how well it performs and whether it's worth using or not. I'll try and keep the video short and sweet as there's not a lot to talk about for the mod but simply the basics around it and things you should know before trying it out. So firstly, how do you obtain it? The mod can only be gotten via the Recaster near Drifter's area and rotates on a daily basis the same with the other new mods introduced this season. If you don't manage to get the mod, then it shouldn't be a biggie as it will most likely be added to Banshee's daily schedule just like the rest of the other mods that have been on for sale. Now, I'm sorry to say, but this mod is bad news for all Rocket Launcher users as it's not as great as its name provides and that I found that it shows the bad side to Bungie's nerfing as instead of Bungie providing a buff to Rocket Launchers via impact and explosion, they provide a mod instead to fulfill that role and only barely does it do its job well. Now in terms of what the mod does, the mod offers us a buff for each of our rockets depending on how much we stack them. The mod can provide a 35% buff to each of our rockets in our tube and up to times 3. So with one mod it will provide us a 20% buff, 2 will give us a 10% buff and 3 a 5% buff. As shown, the mod has to sell per stack and it only goes up to times 3. After that, you gain nothing, which sadly makes the mod less interesting. Now, that's not the only buff the mod provides. At the same time, it looks to provide a reload speed to your rocket launcher, which looks to me about 50% buff you get. Something that is quite beneficial for all rocket launchers with their semi-long reload time. The initial buff you get with the rocket launcher can make them viable to a degree for some content, but not viable enough for some endgame content like raids or higher tier nightfall, which will need a specific setup and enough ammo to keep you going. This type of buff is more suited for content against ultras or set end mission bosses who have a high amount of health but still take a hefty amount of damage from heavies. Generally content where the boss can be easily dispatched and is great against trash mobs. And that's as far as it goes for endgame content, as like I said, rocket launchers need a lot of love to get them in a better place, as of currently, they are easily beaten up by grenade launchers and swords and generally any other weapon in game. On top of that, the mod also has the effect that once your rocket is buffed and lands its hit on your target, the buff disappears depending on how much charge of light you got. So if you have the standard 2 charge of lights on you, then you only have 2 buff shots until you need to restock again which kind of devalues the mod even more as some activities you may not be able to produce orbs of light to get your charge of lights going and if you can't get that going then your rocket launcher will just do average damage like normal. Because of this and the fact that rocket launchers are in a terrible place at the moment it's not really a mod that many players will want to use no matter how much you try and sell it. In fact using the high energy fire mod which provides a 20% damage buff is probably a better choice to pick as it doesn't go until you net a kill with it which means you can have a 20% buff for your rocket launcher for a much longer time compared to AO if you use it exclusively against bosses with higher health. So we know they're limited in some activities and not a lot of you will want to use them but for a small faction of you guys who do want to use them or better off specialise around them what should you look out for and do? Ideally, perks that can increase a weapon's damage or magazine size is really the main things you want to look out for. So the damage side of things, such as perks such as kill clip, cluster bombs and impact casing is the go-to perks for any rock launchers to have and will help with making up their lack of damage. At the same time, perks such as Ambitious Assassin and Clown Cartridge can provide a boost of magazine size from 1 to 2, which is ideal and helpful for quickly dishing out damage with the perk. As one thing I've noticed is that if you have the AO perk and have the Ambitious Assassin available and you have two in the tube, if you're quick enough you can fire off two rockets and only use one charge of light in the process, but only if you're quick enough. I've created a nifty build based around the mod and twin tail that you should give a watch after you're done as it pretty much breaks down what you should be using to fully maximise the build based around the mod as best as possible. Overall, the mod isn't as great as I hoped for it to be and sadly doesn't make rocket launchers as viable in endgame content compared to using swords or grenade launchers or even a sniper rifle for pure DPS. It's fine to use in small content where DPS against bosses isn't that much to worry about, but when using it in content such as raids or dungeon, then that's where it shortly stops. You're better off using the high energy fire mod that is more consistent 
and won't run out on you so easily if you plan to make a build that solely focuses on rockets. Hopefully, Bungie will buff rocket launchers in the near future, and then more so will make the mod even more viable to use, but until then, don't bother with it so much, and find something else to play with. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.